Hey there, beautiful. What am I doing? I'm doing it again. What's wrong with me? Since a lot of you guys have watched my videos in the past on how to set up the Elgato Game Capture with OBS and Streamlabs OBS for recording and streaming purposes, some of you guys have hit me up in the DMs. It goes down in the DM. Like this guy, for example, they asked, so any idea on best streaming options so I don't lag or drop frames? This is a question I've gotten quite a bit in the comments and in my DMs. And I'm like, you know what? Instead of me just answering to you guys one at a time, how about I just make a whole video so that you guys have a source to go to so that you know how to set up your settings right. With that out the way, if you have a Mac computer that is decently spec, continue watching this video because I'm gonna show you the best settings for streaming so you don't get the blurry picture and drop frames. Let's go. So in Streamlabs OBS, if you head over to your settings, Let's first start off by going to the video tab. You wanna make sure that this is a 1920 by 1080 and your output resolution is 1920 by 1080. Most of the times you'll be fine with using the bicubic uh, sharpened 16 samples, but if your computer's a little bit better, you can go ahead and try the 32 samples. Common FPS values, I usually go with just 30, but you can also rock 60 if your computer is pretty good. If we head over to the output tab, you'll see that right now my output mode is in simple. We actually wanna select that drop down and go to advanced. And then under the streaming section, we can head over to the encoder. And let's first start off by looking at the X264 encoder option, which is your processor. If you don't have a dedicated graphics card, there's a good chance you only see the X264 option, which is your processor. But if you do have a dedicated graphics card, I'll get into the best settings for that in just a minute. You wanna keep checked in for streaming service encoder settings. I would not rescale the output. Rate control, you wanna keep that at CBR, which stands for constant bit rate. That will keep the bit rate number that you set below that at this rate as much as it can. If you're not too sure what number you should set that bit rate, then you can type in on Google speed test and then just run a speed test. And this will calculate how fast your internet speeds are for download and upload. The important one we wanna pay attention to is the upload speed and it'll come back in megabits per second. So you can see mine is almost six megabits per second. Not too bad, I wish it were higher of course. In Streamlabs OBS, I'd feel comfortable setting my bit rate to about 3,500 kilobits per second, which translates over to 3.5 megabits per second. So you can see that I have a little bit of space between my max capacity of upload speed bandwidth that I can utilize. Under that, I don't check off use custom buffer size. Keyframe interval, a good one to set it to is two. A lot of streaming platforms prefer that. CPU usage preset, this is a very important step which will depict how good or bad your quality of your picture is going to be. Default, it is at very fast, but if you know if your processor is very good, you can go with faster, fast and medium options, which will give you a very nice quality picture. If your processor isn't very good, you'll have to go with super fast or ultra fast, which aren't the greatest quality options, but you'll alleviate those drop frames. In the example footage, you can see just how choppy my gameplay is if my encoding speed is too slow and my processor can't handle it. I can also get choppy gameplay if my bitrate is set too high for the streaming platform to ingest. I don't recommend going over a bitrate of 4,500. On the other hand though, if you set your encoding speed to be too fast and you have a very low bitrate, like in the 1,500 to 2,000 range, then you'll have this footage that you see right here, which is very blurry, doesn't look very appealing to the eye, and you don't want this either. You wanna be somewhere in the middle, guys. For my case, I'll feel comfortable setting it to very fast. Profile, this is usually good just to set to main. Tune, this isn't really always necessary, but sometimes I like to go with zero latency, just so my stream doesn't have a big delay to it. But other than that, those are the best settings for the software X264 encoder options. Now, if you have dedicated graphics, which I highly, highly recommend you guys have a computer with dedicated graphics if you're going to be doing this kind of streaming work, video work, because if you're using your processor for encoding, it's just gonna slow everything down. You won't be able to do anything else on the computer but stream. To put it in simplest terms, if you're using your processor for everything on your computer, it's just gonna slow the whole thing down. It'll just reach a cap. When if you have dedicated graphics, you can offload the streaming encoding work to that dedicated graphics card so that your processor is free to do a lot of other tasks and it's easier to run overlays 
all those good things. I know some of you guys are always curious of the specs I run. Here they are. I do have that dedicated AMD graphics card with the quad core i7 CPU, and that has helped me run my streams very efficiently. So let's go over the best settings for the graphics card. Instead of using the X264 option, you wanna use the hardware encoder. Do not use the software encoder on the graphics card as that just fluctuates the bitrate all over the place. It just doesn't work well. You can keep check in force streaming service encoder settings. Do not rescale the output. Bitrate, again, you can use speed test to check your internet speed. Mine was at six megabits per second. I'm gonna set this to 3500, which is 3.5 megabits per second for the upload speed that I'm trying to push out. I'm using a wired ethernet connection to my computer, so I don't need to limit the bit rate just in case it fluctuates high. I have almost two megs of space to work with between my actual upload speed and the bit rate that I'm pushing out. So it just won't be needed. Keyframe, I'll set that to two because most streaming platforms like that. And then profile, can set this to main and then use B frames that improves the quality a little bit. So I keep that selected as well. Once you're all done, select done and you'll be good to stream. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you really, really did, and helped you out, hit the thumbs up button for your boys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I have a Discord, by the way. You can join it, link description below. And if you need help, you can go hit it up, the Discord channel there, and I can assist you as needed. Or you can always DM me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, and I'll try to help you out. And that's gonna be it for me, guys. Hope you have a good day. Peace out.